it going guys? We are back in another video here and this video I really thought would be important to make I know a lot of you guys want to get these 99 overall card MSPs and uh, you want to know probably the best way to do it and the quickest way to do it So I'm gonna explain each way to get these done All right, so hope you guys do enjoy this video if you do make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new here But let's get into the video right now. So as you guys all know, maybe you don't Yesterday, EA released challenges to acquire a free 99 overall master set player. That's what MSP stands for. Not everybody knows that. But you have the Martin St. Louis, the Ryan Kessler, the Roman Yossi, the Eric Lindros, the Frederick Anderson, and Nikita Kucherov. But those are not the only cards that will be in that free 99 pack. There will be another six of these cards. That's why I'm not making a video on the best one of these to choose yet. Because we don't, like for the pack, because we don't really know all of them yet, right? So that's why uh, I, I'm not doing that yet. I'm going to pretty much just kind of give you guys the tips that you need to, you know, accomplish this, all right? So looking at the objectives, all right? Looking at the objectives right here, starting off with the seven daily reward packs, okay? So that's a very self-explanatory one. You just got to sign into the game seven days, all right? So that's not crazy. It's not hard. You don't have to do anything for that at all besides literally just turn on NHL 22 and and, and click on Hockey Ultimate Team. Uh, completing 11 games in Rivals, HC, or Squad Battles. Okay, guys. So here's the thing, all right? So a lot of these seem like crazy, right? Completely 11 games, but the nice thing about this is that squad battles are included, okay? So here's what you want to what you're gonna want to do So if, if you're gonna complain about having to you know to finish the games played, okay, I can understand that But what you can do is this and it's squad battles You should not be playing rivals if you want if you want to get this one done You probably shouldn't be playing rivals or hot champs trying to get this done very quickly, okay? And the other one is also win games and squad battles. So Really, my best advice for the wins and all that is this, all right? So you go to squad battles, right? And go to the uh, opponent select. Go to 76 overall. Why not? And uh, click on rookie and put it to period length two minutes, okay? So that is the quickest way to get a game done in Hockey Ultimate Team is playing the squad battles rookie two minute period length. And the best way to really do it as well, score a goal early and just rag the puck. Put your controller down. The best advice I'd say to really, you know, it, it sounds boring, which I understand it is. But what you could also do is just maybe watch Netflix in the background. Just, you know, I don't know, just have a YouTube video on the background. You know, one of mine, right? No, but just just chill, chill out. You know, like it's 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 certainly boring. Don't get me wrong. But that's probably the best way to get games done pretty quick without having to play, you know, full 40 minute I'm sorry, 40, four minute period hot games like rivals or champs. That's the thing. So that's why I'd say squad battle is the best when it comes to, you know, completing games. I think squad battle is the best for just completing the objectives in general, but I'll get to that in a second. So uh, for completing the games, like I said, just that is a two minute periods in squad battles, rookie mode. That's what I think is the best. All right. Next up is the wins, which I, again, like I said, guys, the wins is the same thing. You could also do that. Just play literally on rookie, score a goal, puck rack, put your controller down. If, if, if there's any pressure, you can just, you know, make sure you move a little bit. And then just like I said, have a YouTube video on, get some popcorn, chill out, hang out, watch some Twitch streams, do whatever. Uh, that's what I think is the best personally. So um, that, that's what I think for, for, for winning and, and playing games. Next up is shots though, right? So shots you guys might be a little bit scared about, right? So the thing about shots are is this, guys. So shots, the same thing I would recommend is also squad battles, okay? So I'm going to show you guys what to do exactly in squad battles, though. But what I'm going to recommend is this. So you want to go to the, the same thing, rookie. I'd also go to four minutes, I'd say. Four minutes, rookie is good as well. So what you want to do is this. I'm going to show you guys once we get into the game, though. So I'll see you guys once we get into the game plan. All right, so here we are. We're in the game now. So... The best advice I'd say is is to this: is just rip pucks on net, literally just nonstop. Walk into the into the zone and just rip pucks on net. That one obviously got blocked, but I'm gonna get the puck back immediately because it's on rookie, right? So I just like I said, just take shots and just try to rip them on net, right? I mean, any any shot is good, right? So just turn and shoot. Obviously back away so they play it all the time as well. Get the puck. Guess what? Shoot, shoot. Keep shooting. Obviously, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit right now because, you know, I'm, I'm trying to you know, do something specifically, but it's not as hard as I'm making it seem for sure. So, really just walk over the line, put a puck on that like that. I'm going to get to the puck first, obviously. Shoot another puck. Another save. Get the puck again. Shoot. And he's going he's gonna to probably play it unless, well, yeah, see, there you go. You got to make sure you back away and then there you go. Get the puck again. Low shot. Shoot. 
is I'm going to always block her to the side as well. So uh, that's my best advice when it comes to the shooting. I really do believe. Another backhand shot. Guess what he's got? He's going to play it, though. So it's just shot after shot. How many shots do I got already? I got six shots, and we're not even five minutes in. So uh, it's, it's, it's really not as bad as it seems. Just really hit the puck. And you can get a few like rebounds like quickly in succession. So it's it's not as bad as it sounds, honestly, guys. It really isn't. So there's another one there. Pick it up right with McDavid and get the puck again. Shoot. Another save. You know, get with Lemieux again. Shoot. Save. And again, most of the time I'm going to get the puck, right? So that's what I do for the shots, guys, personally. Uh, if you guys have any, any other ideas, you could definitely say in the comment section down below. But for me, that's what you do for the shots, all right? But next up, guys, I want to talk about the goals, all right? So what do you do for the goals now, you might be wondering, right? So for the goals, what I recommend is this, all right? So I'm going to quit the game here, and uh, we're going we're gonna to restart that. But we're going to do the goals here in a second, guys. I'll be right back. So for the goals, I put it on four-minute periods. It's on rookie again as well, guys. But here's what we're going to do for the goals, all right? And uh, it's very, very, very good and very easy uh, to do here as well. So... Um, you can score so many goals doing this. Like, it's an absurd amount of goals. It's really very simple here as well, guys. So, um, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be very simple. So, here we go. Basically, what you want to do, guys, is you want to walk the center on every face-off, okay? So, what does that mean? So, here's what I do, guys. Uh, on my controller, I press both bumpers here, and I and I push up with my, face, with my right stick to win the face-off, all right? So, uh, that's what you do. You, you walk the center... And you're gonna get breakaways constantly doing that, all right? I messed it up there, obviously. I, I it was a poor example here, but let me let me score a goal here to really give you guys a good example. I was trying to show you guys it with my hands how to do it, but that was obviously not a very good example. Here's the best example. You get a very good routine going of it as well. I, I remember back in NHL 19 is what you did for like Mike Gartner to get goals quick. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna walk him with Nico. You always will win the face off, and here we go. So the AI is apparently, I guess, better better here for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, I'm not really able to. Walk the center as, as easy as I as I, I guess thought I would. I don't know why, but um, in general, uh, most of the time you will uh, come out with that. It'll be a clean face-off win. So yeah, it'll it'll be uh, pretty nice. All right. So let me see if I can get a better face-off win for you guys. I'm struggling a little bit here to to get great possession here, but um, it, it is uh, really not as bad as making it. I'm making, I'm making it seem. I'm looking making it look kind of stupid here, but it works a lot. Uh, you gotta just pretty much walk them and just go straight ahead and, and just muscle through and then you get a breakaway every time pretty much so right there this, that, that's that's what we're looking for and then just go like that and then go back and it'll score every time so yeah that's what you have to do pretty much every time I, I messed up the first couple which i haven't done this in a while so yeah that's stuff that you want to do you just want to win it and just go straight up and sometimes you'll have a backdoor option or most of the time it's just a breakaway and you gotta, you gotta go go backhand i'd say uh, or or backhand for them whatever you're really most comfortable with on a breakaway but um, that's what I like to do. So let's try it again here. See if I can uh, get to work here. So there you go. Yeah, I'm, I'm through him again. Another breakaway, Nico. And there you go. So that's a routine. And that's what you want to keep doing. Then you'll score so many goals in a game and uh, you'll get your goals done quicker than you really can imagine. So yeah, it's a lot of goals. Don't get me wrong. But uh, if you do this for a couple, honestly, like I said, another thing is put Netflix on the background and just, and just, you know, keep yourself busy. It, it, I know it, sa it seems really boring and it definitely is, but um, you'll, you'll get the goals done really quick. I, I just butchered the move again, so it's not about not scoring there. But, yeah, you guys going to get the idea, I think, at this point. It's really not that hard to accomplish these objectives. Uh, it's just more about patience as well. But there's a lot... Th those ways I just showed you obviously make it a lot quicker. So, yeah, I mean, if you guys want to get a head start to the free 99 overall, those are really the things you want to do. So, yeah, I mean, those are pretty much the things. And when it comes to hits as well, I mean, hits... Hits, I would say, guys, I mean, the same thing. Squad battles, really, just... Put it on, put it on uh, rookie, and just and just run around, just hit people the whole game. I mean, that's really the most simple way to put it, honestly, guys. So, hopefully, this helps you out with uh, the 99 overall challenges. If you guys did enjoy this video, though, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrique with three E's, and join Discord. Talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.